To turn to Robert, he took no interest in what was happening in New York in the art world. When you think of what we've been through with Jackson Pollock, with Cubism, and every other movement. But he would go at least once a year, often twice, to Europe, where he followed the movements that were there that were, real, that were realistic. Uh, and this Baltus, which is a life-size figure, life-size nude, is an example of, of what his taste was inclined for. Unfortunately, or I say unfortunately, he, during the war, became enamored with the School of Paris. And I think I've got some, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the greatest thing that Robert ever bought, uh, which is the Ang Princess de Broglie. And it's a, 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 a cousin, or let's say, it's comparable to the, the Frick Comtesse d'Ossonville, which you, you know well here, the Frick. Uh, Robert wrote to Berenson to say that this was their most beautiful painting, and I would agree with him. But this is really the exception of what you get in the Robert Lehman collection. And too often, you, you see these dreadful uh, School of Paris pictures. And uh, there are dozens of them in the storeroom and not shown. Uh, there's another one. That, and when I visited Lehman uh, when I, as a student, going to the house on 54th Street and then to the apartment. These things were in the closets, in the bathrooms. They were from floor to ceiling. 